Infectious diseases. Research. Medicine. Health. Welcome to Outbreak News Interviews. And now, broadcasting from the Outbreak News Skylar Studios in beautiful West Central Florida, here is your host, microbiologist and editor of OutbreakNewsToday.com, Robert Harriman. Well, hey everybody, this is Robert, and welcome to Outbreak News Interviews. Now, a new study led by a Tulane University researcher and recently published in the journal Lancet Infectious Diseases could change the way doctors treat the common sexually transmitted parasite, Trichomonas vaginalis. Here to talk about trichomoniasis and the new study is the lead author, infectious disease epidemiologist at the Tulane University School of Public Health and Tropical Medicine, Dr. Patricia Kissinger. Dr. Kissinger, welcome to the show, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, well, before we get into the study and its findings, uh, let's talk a little bit about this sexually transmitted disease. Uh, what is trichomoniasis and how common is it? So trichomoniasis is a parasite. It um, was once thought to be a commensal, meaning that they thought that it really didn't have any, it wasn't important in, in health. But now they know that it causes uh, an array of uh, reproductive tract infections and problems with birth outcomes. In addition to that, it, it amplifies the possibility of transmission of HIV. How it is very highly prevalent. It's one of the most, it is the most common non-viral sexually transmitted disease in the world. They estimate that about 143 million cases happen each year. It, globally, it's about 5% infection rate. In the United States, it's about 1.8% of women have these infections. Right. And as you said, it is transmitted by sexual contact. And you talked a little bit about the complications. Correct. What are the typical symptoms? So, um, unfortunately, the majority of women who have it don't have overt symptoms. The p persons who do have symptoms, it would be a discharge, a frothy discharge from uh, the um, vaginal area, uh, sometimes malodorous and sometimes discolored. Um, it can cause uh, severe itching and it can cause um, inflammation, which can sometimes cause pain upon urination and painful sex. Right. Now, historically and currently, uh, single-dose metronidazole is the first-line treatment for trichomoniasis. However, your study reveals that this may not be the best treatment for women. Uh, Dr. Kissinger, can you give a summary of your study and how you conducted this research? Sure. Mm -hmm. That's right. So what I noticed is that in the populations I was studying, there was a high rate of repeat infection. And I went back into the literature and I found that uh, that the reason or the rationale that they had the single dose was because of a number of a series of very small studies that were not powered to determine equivalency that were done in the 1970s. And I looked and I, we did a meta-analysis, which is a type of study that you take all of those studies and, and sort of synthesize them into one statistic. And we found out that it, women who were on the single dose were about twice as likely to get a repeat infection as women who were on multi-dose. So then we decided to do a study. We had already done a study in HIV positive women and found that the single dose was not as effective, that the multi-dose was much more effective than the single dose. And we decided to repeat that same study in HIV uninfected, which the majority of women who have trichomoniasis are not HIV infected. And what were your findings? The findings were very similar to what we had found in the HIV negative and in our meta-analysis that about that uh, there was a 43% reduction in repeat infections with trichomon trichomoniasis or trichomonas vaginalis if the woman was on multi-dose compared to single dose. Now, I read in a press release that you believe that the CDC will change its treatment recommendations because of the results of this study. Can you talk about that? It is my great hope. I know that the CDC and NIH were both, and National Institute of Health were both very interested in this study because trichomoniasis, while very, very prevalent, has not had the attention that it's needed. And the, the treatment guidelines will not be changed for another two years, and 2020 is when they're going to change the treatment guidelines. So it might take a while for this to happen. So in the meantime, physicians or, cl or providers, medical providers, will need to make the decision if they want to change it on their own. Um, but I do think that there's great interest in it because the 
the studies were so similar in their findings. There's so much consistency of findings between these studies that we did that um, really demonstrate that the single dose is not as effective as the multi-dose. Mm -hmm. Now, last question. Are, are you planning any follow-up research to this? And yes. So no, thank you for asking. So now we know that um, it, that the single dose doesn't work as well in HIV uninfected. It doesn't work as well as in HIV infected women, but we don't know anything about their sexual partners. So we, so sexual partners, about 70% of women who have trichomonas vaginalis or trichomoniasis, 70% of those partners are also infected. So what we need to know is what's the best treatment for them. Right now, the recommendations are, again, to the single dose for men should be moved to a multi-dose for men. So we're hoping to, we're in the process of writing a grant right now to see if we can examine this topic, this uh, dosing situation in men. Yeah, very interesting work. And I want to thank you, Dr. Patricia Kissinger, for your time and your expertise. Well, thank you so much for um, inviting me to, to um, for this interview. You bet. Thank you so much.